Hello, and welcome back to the Monster Hunter World Iceborne Beta, where today we're going to be taking on Bonbaro, because I've never fought one, because he's new. We'll use the same Hunter and Palico, and let's just go after this Bonbaro right here. And it even keeps our equipment, but I think I'm going to use a hammer for Bonbaro, just because I want to see its new stuff, and also... Well, a monster's got a big head with big horns. I just kind of want to use a hammer on it. I wonder why that is. And yeah, there's nothing else I'd want to use with a hammer, so let's just go. Yep, if I have to. This here is our current location. I'm well aware. Try heading over to this area here and search for any clues it may have left behind. Maybe later. Well, I mean, if you ever get lost, consult your map. I guess now, actually, but first, getting that raider whistle thing. Okay, so we get the Raider Ride call. And now we can ride on Jagras and Wolgs. So as soon as we're out in the open, it'll let us use the Raider Ride call. And then we can have it track some tracks down for us while we gather them on its back. So, let's hop on there. I like how we gave it a nice little pet. And... Oh, it's just gonna... Just go on its own, huh? Looks like it's actually already tracking down footprints for me. Though I need to be at least a little quick on the draw. Because... Yeah, it doesn't wait for me to grab them. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. And we don't have direct control over this guy, so we're just kind of letting him do what he's going to do while we basically mash circle. I forgot to drink a hot drink. Well, there he is. Eat some well done steak to restore it to Max. Okay, so if we ride this guy and then hit triangle, we can dismount into a jump attack. So we're just already mounted. Whoa! That was a jump. Really got a brace for those. Yeah, I am a little upset with myself for having forgotten to drink a hot drink, but hey, we're fine. I'm sorry, this bone hammer does lightning damage? Alright, get this hot drink. Get this well done steak. Get this hammer charged. So let's see if we can try out some new stuff. So after this, we, oh, it, there's a timing for it. You can't just hold the clutch claw button. Because I know that you can effectively cancel out of 
the ending lag of this animation with the clutch claw button, and then you just go straight into a clutch attack. We got a KO, now we've softened the horns. So now we just get to do some damage. Would have been a little nicer if he held still a little longer. Ow. I, I don't want to drink that right now. I do want this rock steady mantle though. And let's also make use of this shock trap. Ought to keep him still. Got some solid damage on that there face, though I've done more damage with uh, base game armor sets. Uh, it really just goes to show that the equipment they give you in this demo is not up to the standards of equipment that you can get through actually playing the game. Yeah, let's grab these tracks so that we can try and get to see his status. One more and it'll show us what his status is. There we go. So now if he gets tired, we can see it. If he gets almost dead, we can see it. Hopefully the... Oh, Beotodus has been here. I was going to say hopefully Beotodus shows up and they can have a turf war, but it seems we're a little late for that. That's neat, him just swinging his antlers around to spread snow. Yeah, we'd have to get our tracking to level 2 in order to actually see where Beotodus was. And I just dodged back into that. Because I'm a genius. That's a real professional strategy right there, is... Uh, if a monster is bringing a big rock to you, you move so that you can accept their gift. And really, I feel like other players need to get on my level. So an interesting thing about this guy, when he is angry like he is now, he extends his nose plate to have it become a nose horn. And I can't help but feel like that's just really counterintuitive for everything. Because, like, he's already got those big intimidating horns on top of his head. The nose horn isn't going to add to the intimidation factor. But it might get in the way when he's, like, trying to pick stuff up and roll it around. And I feel like he's not helping his cause. Like, if anything, that nose horn is a liability. Ow. And I believe those are thorn pods there, because I recall seeing people playing the demo, and I'm, yeah. And, thankfully, those giant horns count as part of his face for the purposes of KO. So, let's eat this mite pill. Ooh, that, that's wide, and I ran out of stamina because Ice Blight. really hoping to hit him square in the face with that. Ooh, Jertotus? Er, no, uh, Beototus. Alright, we get the turf war. Alright, er, uh, Lombaro took about 800 damage. That's not bad. And Beototus took the smaller amount of damage there. And that's more thorn pods, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Okay. We got the mount, but ended it immediately because the hit that mounted it also triggered the thorn pods to KO it. Ah, dang it. He wiggled his face around too much. I wish I had plugs. But hey, we've got him on the limp. Really should have called the raider ride first, because you can sharpen while you're on these guys. And hey, look, Beotodus is back. That is a pretty cool silhouette. Looking forward to fighting him. And we're going to before we finish our demo playing. But we're not going to fight him in this particular hunt. Okay, so you can jump off the back of the wolf. But I wasn't able to jump into the charge attack. Like, I hit the trigger and it just did a regular hammer swing. Instead of doing what I meant to do, which was this. Okay. That was an example of clutching at a bad time. Oop, let's not accept his gift this time. Okay, I guess we're softening the leg. I wonder if that nose horn is breakable. It looks like it should be. If I was smart, I would have tried to clutch onto him while he was running. Because then he carries you on a little bit and you also get to soften a part up. Seems like Clutch Claw is going to be real good tech for monsters that are fleeing. Oh, you're not just going to sleep, huh? Monster Hunter World, you could always trust fleeing monsters to just go to bed. Maybe it's because I did a Clutch Claw attack while he was running? Got him. And that was real quick, so we're going to also do the Great Jagras during this episode. And uh, then next episode, we'll get to start hunting the not specifically target monsters. And now his nose plate isn't extended, so no nose horn. That's awesome. Hooray, we get that stuff too. Wonder what the blue scale was. Again, I already did, but thanks for asking, game. All right, so now let's see what a master rank great Jagras does. And great Jagras' tail is not severable at all, so I'm just not going to hammer it. I should have not hammered Bunbaro to see if its tail was severable, but I imagine it is. But yeah, I really like hammer and switch axe. I love them both. I generally prefer switch axe, but hammer is real fun. We've received eyewitness reports of our target, the great Jagras, roaming around these parts. So let's get right to it. Open up your map. Okay. Yeah, I know. We're here. The great Jagras is just outside. After a feast, the great Jagras can be found waddling back to its nest, scraping its big belly along the ground. Try heading over to this area here and search for any clues it may have left behind. I wonder if Master Rank Great Jagras just down, gains greatest Jagras moves. On it. Oh, and one more thing. You're being timed. Oh, 
Raider ride. Raider ride. Raider ride. You, give me that whistle. Or did I already have that whistle? I might have already had that whistle. All right, we got us a bunch of Apton off. Uh, got some Jagger's footprints. I am aware that Master Rank Rathalos does appear in this quest. And from what I've heard, it's got some resistance to uh, flashes. So that's going to be an interesting thing to fight. Giving me Dread King vibes. Skid mark. So this Jagras isn't hanging out exactly where it normally does. Is it perhaps hunting the uh, Kestodons? No, it's hunting nothing. It's just hanging out. Hey, buddy. Show me what's so master rank about you. So far, nothing seems very master rank about you, other than your health and damage output. Eh, it's not the face, but we'll soften it up. Wow, nice whiff, I guess. We're definitely going to need this. Cat, I had just put down a health booster. That was not the time for a bigger wasp. That does feel real good, canceling out of the end lag of your slams into the clutch attack. Clutch Clodges feels real good on Hammer in general. And there's our KO. Always a shame to miss with only the last hit or the last attack. And we broke a claw with a pierce pod. Yeah, this great Jagras sure is just a great Jagras. Maybe it would do new things if I let it actually have a meal. But now it's in limpy... M oh, oh, he's sniffing. He's going to have himself a nice little Kestodon. Also, where where is there a carcass? Who left a carcass? Oh, there's a carcass right here. I imagine if we find those old footprints... That'll tell us who left it. It's probably Anjanath, given the general location. Okay, he, he did get himself a meal. Where are those footprints? 
Here they are. Yeah, that's Angina. I'm fun, big guy. Um, what, what pinged? Did my cat set a bigger wasp thing? Probably. Hey, buddy, do something new. I just, I want to see you do something new. Ooh. Got some spirit vein crystals. Come on, buddy. Do a new move. Just anything new. Something I haven't seen before. Your master rank. Act like it. You haven't even used some greatest Dragoras moves. Come on. Tried to get hit by that intentionally to see if anything would happen, and it didn't. All right, let's just kill him. Can we clutch claw onto a corpse? Nope. Probably not going to have time to get all three carves, but... Okay, we actually did. So that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we start taking on monsters that are not the targets. So the ones that I know exist are Beotodus, which will be our next target, uh, Anjanath, and Rathalos. But there might be more. If this is like the last beta for Monster Hunter World, uh, there might be more in the files that just aren't enabled right now, but that will be enabled later in the beta cycle. I don't know if that'll be the case here, but maybe. But either way, I know I'm going to fight at least the three monsters that we know are in the beta. So join us next time when we start off with a Beototus. See you then, friends. <laughs>